in the application, and no one is reserved on for this hearing also. Again, Ms. Stilton and Steps. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. The good news is that this one requires no city incentive. Um, today's public hearing is regarding the amendment of the existing ordinance, which authorizes the city's participation in the Texas Enterprise Zone Program, which is referred to as a TEZ. Um, the amendment is to expand the list of available local incentives to maximize the local effort score of the TEZ application. The TEZ program is administered by the Texas Economic Development Bank, um, which is part of the Office of the Governor of Development and Tourism, and it promotes economic development incentives through state sales and use tax refunds um, for qualified projects within or in proximity to an enterprise zone. Eligible projects mu must meet the state's statutory requirements, including required capital investment, a minimum job creation or retention, and a commitment to hire a certain percentage of economically disadvantaged individuals or residents that reside in the zone. In order for a project to be considered for the state refund incentive, it has to be nominated by a municipality. So that is the role that the city plays. Um, the municipality does not have an obligation to provide a local incentive. And the city of Houston can nominate up to nine projects during the biennial period. June 2015 is the last period of the current cycle, and the new cycle begins in September. The city approved an ordinance in 2008 allowing for participation in the program and providing certain incentive programs that may be available to the nominated project, although the city is not required to provide any local incentive or any match. The available local incentive is a factor of the local effort component of the application score. So the ordinance amendment on today's agenda is to expand the list of incentives that may be available to improve the local effort score for nominated projects. The state has increased the maximum local electric score to 53 from the prior maximum score of 25. Each incentive benefit or program that the city has available will add from one to four points to the application score. If the city offers no incentives to the project, then the maximum local effort score is 36. The higher points are applied if the city actually chooses to offer an incentive or benefit. Um, we're nominating one project in this last period um, of the current cycle, which is Spectra Energy Corporation. Spectra is a Fortune 500 company headquartered here in Houston. It's one of the North America's leading pipeline and mixture companies. It employs more than 5,800 employees worldwide, um, and approximately 2,200 are in the U.S. and 1,500 in Houston. Spectra will invest over $60 million over the next five years for an expansion of its headquarters office, some significant technology upgrades and software development, as well as office renovation. They will create 250 new jobs with an average salary of $145,000. Most of the investment will be for the development of their supervisory controlling data acquisition system or their SCADA system. This is a core component of the company's business infrastructure and is used to operate and monitor remote pipelines in Nova Scotia to Southern Texas. These investments will allow the company to improve efficiencies and support the long-term success of its headquarters operations. The city's nomination of this project will allow Spectra to submit an application to the Office of the Governor of Economic Development and Tourism for a Texas Enterprise rebate. If awarded, the company will receive a rebate of state sales and use taxes up to $1.25 million over a five-year period. Today's agenda, there is a, 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 an ordinance, uh, an item to amend the existing ordinance, as well as a resolution to nominate Spectra. <coughs> this concludes our presentation. To be 